lights aloft from Cape Canaveral, carrying a robot weatherman into orbit for America's 14th space success of the year. Nearly 10,000 solar cells will power the electronic equipment, including two television cameras in the Tyros 2 satellite, which now circles the Earth in a nearly perfect circular orbit 400 miles out. Key ground stations at St. Nicholas Island, California, and Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, monitor the new Tyros. On command from them, the satellite is designed to transmit pictures of the Earth's cloud cover for immediate study by meteorologists. The first weather eye Tyros satellite found a hurricane and a tornado and proved the feasibility of satellite forecasting. The more complete data expected from the advanced equipment of Tyros 2 promises major strides in weather observation. Its TV eyes and infrared detectors have already sent back pictures of distant weather. Human weathermen watch the performance of Tyros 2 with mixed emotions. Revolutionary war hero Ethan Allen's honored name is bestowed on the Navy's newest and most powerful addition to the Polaris fleet of nuclear submarines in launching ceremonies at Groton. The Ethan Allen is the first sub built to fire the new, longer-range version of the Polaris missile. She's christened by Mrs. Robert H. Hopkins of Brookline, Massachusetts, a descendant of Ethan Allen. The 900-ton craft goes down the way smoothly, its launching marred only by a quickly squelched pacifist demonstration, a key addition to the Navy's fast-growing nuclear fleet. 